super bad transmittable contagious awful virus and if we don't act quick and social distance it will mire us in a stretch of quarantine that lost super bad transmittable contagious awful virus was written by Daniel Matarazzo, who is a pianist in Philadelphia, and his recording of himself singing that song went viral. And Hank Green saw it on Twitter and retweeted it with a call for a Julie Andrews impersonator. A lot of people on the interwebs who I guess knew my work. I got the horse rat here, the name is Paul Revere. Tagged me in Hank's tweet until I finally saw it. And I was like, what do you want me to do? What kind of video do you have in mind? He's like, I don't know. I thought it should exist. When I saw that Ariana had posted my Seven Rings parody to her grid, I think my heart started pounding and I, I think I broke into a cold sweat. And she has one of those voices that is like legit. Excellent. Her pitch is out of this world. So point being, she's actually someone I really, really respect. I respect her work. I respect her songwriting so much. So that just kind of like added to the fuel to the... I think I wrote under her post, like, thank you for your healthy belt. So I made a video with Todrick Hall last year where we did, where we played Mary Poppins and Bert. It was a parody video of Cardi B and Bruno Mars's this is Please Me, and I don't throw anything away, so I still have it. I guess what would be in my magic quarantine bag, a la Mary Poppins pulling that hat rack out of her carpet bag, a good face moisturizer because I have pretty dry skin, and then probably a microwave because I'm not a very good cook. Here's the two main things that I think of when I start to do the Julie Andrews impression. You really want to feel every consonant at the front of the mouth, at the, the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue should all be engaged. Not like when you're in America, practically perfect in every way. Practically perfect in every way. The other thing she does is what I like to call a Julie sigh. The ha, ah, a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. She kind of does the slidey thing. A favorite of mine that I love to do behind closed doors and now maybe not so behind closed doors is uh, Renee Fleming and her recording of Moonfall from The Mystery of Edwin Drood. Between the very dead of night and day. Donna Murphy in Passion is another favorite of late. Just like her little lines when she says like, I came to thank you for the books. I came to thank you for the books. She has this sort of rounded mouth shape. I don't know what she's doing, but it is a delight to uh, try to impersonate. Captain Von Trapp. I, James McAvoy. Um, I saw him in Cyrano de Bergerac and blew my freaking socks off. Henry Iggins, tell me that Idris Elba would not slay the role of Henry Iggins. And he's fine as f I would love to be Guinevere to John Mulaney's Lancelot only because I think that would be the most ridiculous casting choice for that role. If ever I would leave you, here's the thing. It wouldn't be in springtime. Yeah, man, this is a weird time for theater and live performances because our livelihood literally depends on people gathering in public places. I was in a production, I am in a production of Stephen Sondheim's Passion, um, which is an amazing musical that doesn't get done nearly enough. We were literally at opening weekend. We were supposed to open in a couple days and the production got halted um, because it's just not, it wasn't safe. I mean, it was a prudent decision. So now it's been postponed to the fall. So hopefully we can remount it because it's a wonderful production. My favorite um, so far is called the Artist Relief Tree that it's supported by a lot of celebrities, but it, but it was also started by a group of artists themselves and they're doing really good work. And I think their website is artistrelieftree.org.
com. And another way that Hank made me start thinking about are socially distanced commissions. If somebody has a, a birthday coming up and they want an opera singer to sing their friend happy birthday, you know, you can reach out to them and, and you sort of and commission people to make videos or record themselves singing songs or make a little sketch or something because we have Venmo and PayPal and you can do these things. Artists want to work. We want to use our skills. We want to perform. It gets really easy if we can. That's a, hopefully a way that, you know, everybody benefits. Well, it just happened, kind of. But I would love to take a crack at Eliza Doolittle um, someday. And the other one, which is truly in my heart, is I'd love to play Sweeney Todd. And I'd love to see an all-female Sweeney. The gauntlet has been thrown. How do you throw a gauntlet? That's a gauntlet. You know what I'm saying? Just make the all-female Sweeney. Just do it. You know, it's gonna be good.